Oh, this is this is one of the jobs that I need to do um, today. Really, I need to try and get this done today. Hopefully. Oh, I was getting worried then. What we've got here is spray seal. This is what we're going to be repairing our shower tray with. We've got a little crack, not a massive crack, a little crack. It's only a little one. Um, but this is what we're going to use to repair our shower tray. So this is going to be a separate video that's going to be coming up if I don't break this. So we're in, eventually. Let me get rid of this rustling bag. Put that there a minute. I need headphones. So this is what we're going to do our shower tray repair with. Now we've actually got a proper spray gun. Um, and hopefully, it's, go, it's, it's on the caravan that's on the lift in the workshop. So uh, I'm hoping that you can get that, it's got a motor mover that it's fitting at the minute, so I'm hoping that you can get that done, get it off, and we can get our... So that is what we're going to be doing the shower tray repair with, which hopefully I can do that this afternoon, we're going to do a separate video. Got another tip coming up, um, got some great videos, as I say, that shower tray, we've got solar panel fitting, um, got our area, our area is getting there. Um, so it's all been leveled out and scraped out and done ready so that we can get it all shuttered up now and then hopefully next week get this concreted all up and in uh, and get it usable for as, as soon as possible. So we're just trying to get back on top of everything now um, which will give us more room and we can get more vans in. Um, hoping that this year is going to be a decent, decent year. Um, one van I started to do on, I think it was Wednesday last week, started to do oh, a bit of tarmacking going in, just infilling, just trying to tidy everything up. Run out of tarmac there. Um, so one van, I was just doing our little checks going through and sort of, We'd done a bit of a tip on Wednesday, right? Just, just literally just doing a visual check on your van. And I came into this one. At first, I didn't even notice it. Needs a good clean. It's just at the minute washing everything all off. Uh, needs a good clean on the inside as well. And the cupboard, um, the vinyl had all cracked on it. So I'd said in the comments about um, what colour do you think that we should go. I'd had a look, after after I did the video, I'd had a look to see whether we could get a replacement and brand new one, because they're not normally that expensive. From Prima Leisure, they they do these cupboards, it's all it's Bailey basically, Prima Leisure, and they do um, replacement parts, but typically can't get hold of one. Um, so it's, it's definitely got to be a wrap job. Couldn't find anything used um, for the right sort of size. So it's definitely going to be that we're, we're going to end up wrapping it. So that's going to be possible. I might even just do that within sort of one of the videos because it won't take two minutes so when that comes. But that was literally just by doing one of uh, a, a check through on your van, just having a visual check, just going through it and just making sure. Before Christmas, it was absolutely perfect. Uh, and then just with the weather, um, it had just attacked it and just, just sent it AWOL. Um, yeah, so I've got some vinyl on order. Or you what, sorry? Should it match? No, no, I'm going for a cream. So the consensus. All of them, then. No, 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 just just that kitchen one. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm only just doing the kitchen area one. I so the, look a bit odd. No, it'll look good. Well, if it doesn't, look, look at this actually. This is why I brought you in this. It's uh, a different colour, just in the kitchen. Okay, um, okay. So that's sort of the look that we're we're going for. Um, we need to straighten these up, don't we? I was going to say, that needs some adjustment, doesn't it? A bit that? wonky there. Uh, I don't know what's happened with that. It's very, very wonky. Um, but yeah, just basically, I think just wrapping it up is going to make it look a hell of a lot better. And literally by just doing a visual check, so just going through, checking for any leaks, making sure there's no water or anything, making sure that your, cup your cupboard doors haven't gone AWOL. Um, and just generally a visual, visual check. The other thing that we did was your battery, so double checking your battery, because if that's getting under 12 volts, it's, it's basically really, really discharged. So you want to make sure that, that battery is charged up. And then it's probably not a bad idea now that the weather start, started to sort itself out a little bit, actually running things up in the caravan. So just checking all your lights through, 
Oh, but saying that, there was some news today that there was going to be another beast from the east. Is there? The oh dear. Okay. Um, so we're going to want to check all of our lights because again, it's it's amazing how the winter can just play havoc with things. So we'll just go through and we'll just check all of our lights are actually working, make sure of our bulbs. And now is a really good idea or a good time to sort of be, be checking all these sort of things because if you find something, um, you're not going to be sort of getting close to the Easter holidays and thinking, oh gosh, the lights there don't work or I've got an issue with that. Or So it's a good time just to start doing our checks. And every couple of weeks now, just double, double checking all of your window seals. Again, if you've got lockers underneath of the beds, open your lockers up from underneath of the beds and have a real good check underneath. Um, so when we go through, we can double check all of this. You'll notice in this one, we've got the Truma air conditioning. So that is the pipe from the air conditioning unit. So this is going to blow cool air into the front section at the back section. And that all runs from underneath of the bed, which again, we've done a couple of TikToks and what have you. I'll show you that air conditioning unit. Um, they do take up a fair bit of room. So that's the air conditioning there. Big, isn't it? So if you're thinking about having air conditioning fitted in your caravan, um, just allow for sort of a big amount of room. They do do roof units, but there's a lot of weight on the on the roof bouncing up and down. So I prefer to see an under bed unit like that. In all fairness, um, you'll see on this that we haven't plugged it in yet. So we've only got 10.8 volts. So we need to get this caravan plugged in, get the battery charged up. Um, so it's just little checks like that that we want to start doing now, and then we're sort of going back a little bit sort of back through the checks that we've done previously and um, if we are going to get really bad weather again i was sort of getting ready to to run the water systems back through but it's probably not a great idea to do it if we're expecting some really bad weather again um, obviously if you're using your caravan then you're going to probably want to um, be running that through anyway and, and getting it sort of ready to actually go away. But if you're not going to be, I would say hold off running the, the water system just at the moment. Um, as I say, we've got other videos that are going to be coming up. We've got a few other videos that we're going to do today, um, which hopefully is going to help you out. If you've not already hit that subscribe button, uh, still trying to get the subscribers up. We've never hit the 15,000, but we're getting close. We're not a million miles away. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this week. We've got some nice, some really, really nice fans due in over this next week. So we'll have a look at those over the next week. We might do some little snippets of going to pick them up and what have you. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it from, from this week. Um, slowly getting back into sort of the, the videos. It's strange not doing them for a little bit. Um, you just get out of the habit. So um, yeah, I'm waffling on there about nothing. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.